Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends, Winter Railway Adventures, Episode 77, Gordon's Flying Kipper. Gordon had just arrived back at the shed after a long day's work. Everybody was tired, except James and Henry. Mostly, however, everybody was asleep. But James and Henry were wide awake. Can you two be a little quiet, said Gordon. There are engines trying to sleep here. Sorry, said James. Yeah, we're a little excited. Why, asked Gordon. Oh, well, Sir Topham had has decided to bring the flying keeper back. Really, said Gordon. Why is that? Because, said James, he needed a freight train that could pull goods all around Sodor. He decided he'd bring back the flying kipper instead of starting a new train. That's a wise idea, said Gordon. Hey, did you guys hear that the Duke is competing in the annual flower show? I know, said the, said Henry. I went past his garden today, and it looks fabulous. I hope an engine won't ruin it, said James. Yes, said Gordon. It would it would be very bad. Hmm. They both, all three of them, said. Wonder who's gonna pull the who? Wonder who's gonna pull the flying kipper? It's certainly not gonna be you, said Henry. Why, said Gordon? Cause you're pulling the express. The express is gonna be a little later today. It's gonna be a little later tomorrow than usual, said Gordon. I could still pull it. I want to pull the flying kipper, said James. I've never pulled it. Henry, you wouldn't want to pull it. You crashed pulling it. Pa, said Henry. It was icy and cold. Not my fault. The, the other two engines laughed. But Henry didn't mind. I'll ask Sir Topham Hatt in the morning and see what he says. Fine, said Henry and James. The next day, Sir Topham Hatt came to the shed. I need an engine to pull the flying kipper, he said. Sir, can I do it, said Gordon. No, said Sir Topham Hatt. You're, you, me, you, Gordon, the big blue express engine, you are pulling the express today. But, sir, the express is running, the, the train for the express is going to be later than usual. I know, said Sir Topham Hatt, but still. I still, I still want a new engine to pull it. I've never pulled it before. Oh, yes, that's Henry, said Sir Topham Hatt. Yes, you may pull it. Henry and James growled crossly. Told you so, said Gordon. That night, Gordon was ready to leave. Be careful, said Henry. It's mighty fine cold out there. But it's not snowing, said Gordon. I have nothing to worry about. That's what you think, said James. Watch me as I, watch me, said Gordon, as I go along the line proudly. Gordon slipped, though, and slid right into the useful engine shed. Oh, said Gordon, I didn't mean to do that. Not so useful after all, said Henry. Be quiet, said Gordon, and he puffed away. When Gordon got to the docks, the express was ready. Ah, said Gordon, nice to pull a long, long, important freight train like this. It was all ready to go. All right, all right, said the dock master. You may go, Gordon. Hooray, said Gordon. And he puffed along the line quickly. Gordon made good timing. Well done, said the driver. You're doing very well. But Gordon had to stop at the first station. Well, look who it is, said Duke. Gordon, you're pulling the flying kipper. Yes, said Gordon. I feel very proud. Good for you, said Spencer. Hey, but but wait, said Gordon. Why are the express coaches here? Sir Topham had decided to move the express to its regular time tomorrow. Oh, dear, said Gordon. This is terrible. Now I really will have to pull the flying kipper. And fast. Hey, hey Gordon, said Spencer. Do you know that the Duke is competing in the annual flower show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, said Spencer. Sorry. Best be off, said Gordon. I don't want to be late. But Gordon thundered away quickly. Gordon was making good time, but indeed that, but indeed it was very cold. And, and the track was becoming cold, too. Slow down, Gordon, said the driver. Sorry, said Gordon. I didn't mean to. I'm just used to pulling the express. But soon there was trouble. Gordon came through the scrapyard and out the other side. Gordon, he said, watch for that sharp bend over there. Don't worry, said Gordon. I got it. But it was slipperier, slipperier than expected. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Gordon suddenly came off the track and crashed right into, right into the Duke's flower bed. The whole train followed behind. The last two cars of the train were still on the line, but meanwhile, Gordon, Gordon, and the rest of the train were in heavy damage. Oh dear," said Gordon. "This is terrible. What am I ever going to do?" The next morning, the Duke was furious. "What in the world?" he said. Gordon, you destroyed my best flower. You just destroyed my best flowers of the year. You should be very ashamed. I am, sir, said Gordon. Sorry. 
the, tra the entire train was moved off the track to make room. There's not enough time to fix it. Sets your top of hat when you arrive at the scene of the crash. But unfortunately, the Duke's flower bed could not be repaired in time. Gordon had to spend the night in the icy cold weather, and when they tried to reheat his boiler, it wouldn't work. Gordon, you're so cold that your boiler won't st that you won't start. Bother, said Gordon. This is terrible. I need to pull the express, though. Too bad, said the Sir Topham Hunt. I'll have to go find another engine. Meanwhile, Gordon was put in the siding. Oh, dear, said Gordon. This is terrible now. Meanwhile, back of the shed, Sir Topham Hunt told the engines what's happening. I need an engine to pull the express. Gordon's going to be very, very late if he does it. I'll do it, sir, said James. Bother, said Henry. I wish I could do it. Don't worry, he said. James, you can take it to Ellsbridge Station, and then Henry, you can take it back. Oh, thank you, sir, they both said. James was very excited and puffed away immediately, followed by Henry. Duke and Spencer were waiting at the station when James popped it. I thought Gordon was pulling the express. Nope, he crouched into the Duke's flower bed. Oh dear, said Spencer. The Duke's going to be very cross now. Yes, said Duke, and he's not going to be able to compete in the annual flower show. No, he isn't, said James. But I get to pull the express. Whee! And he puffed out of the station. James had a very fun time. Serve Gordon right. Serve Gordon right, he thought. At last, Gordon James made his way to the scrapyard. Hello, Gordon, he said, having fun in your siding. Not really, said Gordon. Oh, that's a shame, said James. I heard that you were Gordon, the big blue express engine. Be quiet, said Gordon. It's not funny. And you always tease Henry that he crashed while pulling the express. Well, now I'm the only engine in the shed who hasn't. Goodbye. There's still Thomas and Percy and Edward, said Gordon. Don't get all puffed up in your boiler for nothing. The entire day, James and Henry pulled the express back and forth. Henry got to pull the last train of the day. He came back around to where Gordon was. Hello, Gordon, said Henry, enjoying your sighting. That's just what James said. I know, we're like talking about it, he said. Anyway, it's fun to pull the express. Can't talk. Goodbye. And Henry puffed away. Gordon was cross, and that night, Arian and Bert came to help him. Hurry up, said Gordon. I need to get back to the shed. Don't worry, said the Diesels. We're helping. But then they both ran out of the diesel oil. Oh, dear, they said. We're sorry. You better be, said Grumble Gordon crossly.